Cartel Chronicles Top 10 Notorious Drug Lords in History The world of illicit drug trade has witnessed the rise and fall of numerous notorious drug lords throughout history. These individuals amassed vast fortunes, wielded immense power, and left an indelible mark on the global narcotics trade. In this video, we delve into the annals of crime to explore the top 10 most notorious drug lords in history. From the powerful kingpins of the Colombian cartels to the ruthless leaders of Mexican drug organizations, their stories are as captivating as they are chilling. Join us on a journey through the shadowy underworld of drug trafficking and discover the individuals who became legendary figures in the world of crime. 10. The Ochoa Brothers The Ochoa Brothers, Juan David, Jorge Luis and Fabio were influential figures within the infamous Medellin cartel in Colombia. They played vital roles in the cartel's operations and its rapid expansion into a global drug trafficking powerhouse. The Ochoa brothers were involved in various aspects of the illicit trade, including production, distribution and money laundering. Their organization played a significant role in the cocaine trade during the 1980s and early 1990s. However, following the death of the cartel's leader, Pablo Escobar, they surrendered to Colombian authorities in 1991. Their cooperation with the government led to reduced sentences and they eventually retired from the drug trade. The Ochoa Brothers story highlights the rise and fall of one of the most notorious criminal organizations in history. 9. Dawood Ibrahim Dawood Ibrahim, a notorious figure in the criminal underworld, is an Indian crime lord and the mastermind behind the D Company. Ibrahim's organization is involved in various illicit activities including drug trafficking, extortion and terrorism. He gained international notoriety for his role in the 1993 Mumbai bombings, one of the deadliest terrorist attacks in Indian history. Despite being one of the most wanted criminals globally, Ibrahim has managed to evade capture and allegedly resides in Pakistan. His influence extends beyond the criminal world, with allegations of connections to political figures and involvement in organized crime networks worldwide. Dawood Ibrahim's story showcases the far-reaching reach and complex web of criminal activities that extend beyond borders, posing a significant challenge to law enforcement agencies. 8. Griselda Blanco Griselda Blanco, infamously known as the godmother of cocaine, was a key figure in the Miami drug trade during the 1970s and 1980s. Originally from Colombia, Blanco played a pivotal role in establishing the notorious Medellin cartel. She was notorious for her ruthless methods and violent tactics, earning her the nickname La Madrina, the godmother. Blanco was responsible for numerous murders, rivalries and power struggles within the drug underworld. However, her reign ended in 1985 when she was arrested. After serving time in prison, she was deported to Colombia, where she continued to live a life surrounded by controversy until her death in 2012. Griselda Blanco's story reflects the dark and cutthroat nature of the drug trade, leaving a lasting mark on the criminal underworld. 7. Amado Carrillo Fuentes Amado Carrillo Fuentes, also known as the Lord of the Skies, was a Mexican drug lord who led the Juarez cartel. Fuentes gained notoriety for his innovative smuggling techniques, which included using a fleet of private planes to transport drugs. His cartel became one of the most powerful in Mexico during the 1990s, dominating the cocaine trade. Fuentes' reign, however, came to a sudden end when he died unexpectedly during a botched plastic surgery procedure in 1997. His death created a power vacuum within the Juarez cartel, leading to a violent struggle for control. Amado Carrillo Fuentes' story exemplifies the volatile and dangerous nature of the drug trade, where power and wealth come with a high price. 6. Frank Lucas Frank Lucas was an American drug trafficker who operated during the 1960s and 1970s. Lucas gained notoriety for his innovative smuggling methods, which involved transporting heroin from Southeast Asia using the coffins of deceased American servicemen. He established a highly efficient and profitable operation that allowed him to dominate the drug trade in New York City. Lucas lived a lavish lifestyle, earning the nickname Superfly. However, his empire eventually crumbled when he was arrested in 1975. In a surprising turn of events, Lucas became an informant for law enforcement, helping to expose corruption within the system. His story, depicted in the movie American Gangster, highlights the rise, fall and redemption of a notorious drug lord. 5. Gilberto Rodriguez Orejuela Gilberto Rodriguez Orejuela was a prominent figure in the infamous Cali cartel. 
which rivaled the Medellin cartel in Colombia during the late 20th century. Alongside his brother Miguel, Gilberto played a pivotal role in the cartel's rise to power. The Cali cartel became a dominant force in the global drug trade, primarily trafficking cocaine. Known for their sophisticated operations, the Rodriguez Orejuela brothers employed money laundering schemes and corrupt connections to expand their empire. However, their reign came to an end when Gilberto was arrested in 1995. He was subsequently extradited to the United States, where he served a lengthy prison sentence. Gilberto Rodriguez Orejuela's story reflects the volatile and treacherous world of drug trafficking and the eventual downfall of one of its key players. 4. Kunsa Kunsa, also known as the Opium King, was a notorious drug lord who operated in the Golden Triangle region of Southeast Asia. Born in Myanmar, formerly Burma, Kunsa controlled a vast empire involved in the production and distribution of opium. At the height of his power in the 1980s, he commanded a private army known as the Mongtai Army and amassed immense wealth. Kunsa's influence extended internationally, with his opium reaching markets around the world. In 1996, he surrendered to the Myanmar government as part of a peace agreement, but continued to exert influence until his death in 2007. Kun Sa's story sheds light on the complex dynamics of the drug trade in Southeast Asia and the challenges faced in combating it. 3. Carlos Leda Carlos Leda, a Colombian-German drug lord, was a pivotal figure in the notorious Medellin cartel. He played a crucial role in establishing the cartel's transportation network, utilizing private airstrips in the Bahamas for cocaine smuggling into the United States. Leda's flamboyant lifestyle and desire to create a cocaine island brought him notoriety. However, after his arrest in 1987, Leda cooperated with the authorities, providing crucial testimonies against other drug traffickers. His cooperation led to reduced sentences for some, and he has since been serving a lengthy prison term. Leda's story showcases the rise, fall and subsequent collaboration of a once powerful drug lord. 2. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Joaquin Guzman, famously known as El Chapo, is one of the most notorious drug lords in history. As the leader of the Sinaloa cartel in Mexico, El Chapo built an empire that dominated the global drug trade. His cartel became the largest and most powerful drug trafficking organization in the world, smuggling massive quantities of drugs, particularly cocaine, into the United States. El Chapo's influence extended far beyond Mexico, with his notoriety earned through elaborate escapes from maximum security prisons. However, in 2016, he was finally captured and extradited to the United States, where he was convicted on numerous charges. El Chapo's story exemplifies the audacity, ruthlessness and ultimately the downfall of a larger-than-life drug lord. 1. Pablo Escobar Pablo Escobar one of the most notorious drug lords in history, rose to power as the leader of the Medellin cartel in Colombia. During the 1980s and early 1990s, Escobar controlled a vast cocaine empire and amassed unimaginable wealth, with an estimated net worth of $30 billion. He employed brutal tactics, including bombings, assassinations and kidnappings, to maintain his dominance in the global drug trade. Escobar's reign of terror came to an end in 1993 when he was killed by Colombian authorities, leaving behind a legacy of violence, corruption and a lasting impact on the drug trade. His life and death have been the subject of numerous books, movies and documentaries, cementing his status as one of the most infamous criminals in history. The top 10 notorious drug lords in history have left an indelible mark on the global drug trade. These individuals built criminal empires, amassed immense wealth, and were responsible for widespread violence and suffering. While some met their downfall through capture or death, their legacies continue to serve as a stark reminder of the dark side of the drug trade. The Cartel Chronicles provide a glimpse into the lives of these infamous figures, revealing the depths of human ambition and the devastating consequences of their actions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Cartel Chronicles, exploring the lives of the top 10 most notorious drug lords in history. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on our future content. Together, let's continue to shed light on the intricate world of cartels and strive for a safer drug-free society.